Okay, so Leo, Leo in the first house, Leo ascendant, or if you have a Leo rising in your chart, Leo is ruled by the sun, so everything that they do shines through. Also, um, they are self-driven, like you know, they put um, priority to their personal desires in life, and sometimes that is what boost them to take action. Be that's why I know a lot of times people see them quite selfish, but actually in the modern times that we live in, that is actually a good thing. It's good to be selfish. It's good to push through what we want, you know, because we're not allowing others to step on us. Those kinds of things. And sometimes that is what we need to succeed in life as well. And that is why many, many times you will see a lot of performers, politicians who has rising Leo in their chart. Um, it could be their 10th house is in Leo or it could be that their first house rising sign is in Leo. We have a lot of politicians and even heroes in our history have this placement in their chart. Whatever they do really shines through and they will be very well known throughout a whole lot of masses of people. They do have strong goals. They have Aries in their ninth house. So they have a huge type of ambition in them, you know. Many times though that um, their midheaven, their 10th the house, is going to differ either Taurus or Aries. So um, that can create some discrepancy and that goes to every rising sign. But um, yeah, usually though, if they have their Taurus in their 10th house, uh, that is the reason why they are always being bestowed by good fortune. Not to mention that they are ruled by the sun. They are always being supported by the gods, by whatever you call that. Um, also, whenever they put forward into their career, it creates stability in them. Most of the time. When it comes to their looks though, you will see a lot of significance in terms of their hair. I mean, I don't mean to say that their hair are shaggy like a lion because they are, Leos are the lion, but there's always some form of significance and some peculi peculiarity in terms of their hair. Maybe they will be quite known with their hair. You know, it could be very, very long and very thick as well. You know, it's quite hard to explain, you know, but I've noticed a lot of people who are Leo rising, there is just something about their hair that, you know, when you see them walking around or even in a television, you will see and notice at first glance their hair. Also, because Leo is a lion who roars in, their voices are very important, you know. That is one thing that really makes them stand out. Not that they have loud voices, but their voices can create impact to the entire world. Now, a big example of that is Donald Trump. <laughs> I know I try to avoid um, going into the controversial side of astrology, but um, I'm just giving you guys an example that um, Donald Trump tends to shout a lot. And whenever he says something, you know, it could be significant, it could be insignificant, but it catches on to a lot of people. A lot of people tend to get affected or, you know, he or she might, might be easily misunderstood by a lot of people at, as a result. We also have a lot of celebrities that has this alignment in their chart, which I will mention later on. Also, one of the good things about Leo rising people is that when it comes to making decision, especially financial decision, they can actually think about it, you know, analyze things, and they can make a swift decision that, you know, puts everything on the right course. 
So it's not, you know, it's not very common for them to have a mistake on that. They're actually a good person to seek through when it comes to problems like that. They can think about things in a very analytical way, practical way, and find a solution to get out of a situation, especially when it comes to their finances or earning income. Their family life, though, can be quite... Um, how do I say this? There is a love and hate when it comes to their roots because they have their Scorpio in their fourth house. And the fourth house is not entirely just family. This is about their private life. And that is why a lot of times Leo rising people are very, very passionate with the things that they want, especially what they desire to be. That's why I mentioned earlier that they are triggered by their personal desires. This is because they have this fourth house in Scorpio. And Scorpio is what? Scorpio brings crisis sometimes. I don't want to say all the time this. That's just plain negative. Um, it creates a lot of changes. Um, there is a love and hate situation when it comes to Scorpio, especially if things are not going in your way. There could be problems with your mother or, you know, there could be something that is overbearing on that end of a stick. But it can create some form of turbulence, especially if you have your fourth house um, in the sign of Scorpio all at the same time. Their fifth house is Sagittarius. So you will see that, you know, many of the... Leo rising people are quite of a social butterfly. They like fun. They like enjoyment in life. They like to take risks. I mean, fifth house is their own house. This is where they really thrive in. They want this. They like to experiment. They like to meet new people and supported by their 11th house in Gemini. This is something that they want. They want to know people. They're always curious about many things, about many people. It doesn't matter what culture you are in. They like to know you and they're open for changes like that. Their sixth house is Capricorn. So for the most part, they are very suited to the type of work that brings some form of structure and, you know, can be a situation wherein they're always in a big organization of some sort. You know, they will thrive in that. And they can really, you know, work through their, their work and plan through everything correctly. Though in terms of partnerships, that is another factor involved. Because um, Leo, when it comes to their um, relationship and partnership, they can have um, one relationship to another, which can create some form of trouble. Um, you know, let us say they're not very committed type. Or if they are committed, they tend to jump in from one person to another. So with their Aquarius in their seventh house, sometimes, you know, even as they age, you will still see them single. That kind of situation but of course that thing changes it doesn't mean that they're going to be single for life not at all I mean there's no sign that is like that unless you know certain planets align in that direction maybe there is a possibility for that but usually no this just means that there this is their blueprint in life that they, they will have to jump in from one relationship to another or can have different types of relationship all at the same time. So, um, yeah. Also, they can be quite uh, childish when it comes to the desires that pushes them to take action. This is because they have their 12th house in Cancer. So, you know... They have a lot of emotions going on inside of them. And sometimes this is what causes them to get sick. You know, repressed emotions are not always a good thing because they're like hiding a lot of things. And we know what the crab is all about, right? Crab 
um, cancer is all about keeping everything inside of me. So all of these emotions, all of this, you know, um, urging emotions that we have inside, it's all hidden. And when it comes out, you know, it's like a bursting of a inflammation or something like that. So it could be that they could have problems with the heart, if that is the case, or some form of developing some form of sickness that is quite life-threatening sometimes, you know. Also, this can push them to be creating scenarios that are quite irrational. And sometimes they develop this, you know, wanting to create and do things in a very childish way. And you know, this is all related to um, the cancer area of their chart. So there could be also times wherein they can be the type wherein they can hold grudge or they don't really easily forget things. Especially if it happened in the past, they can hold grudges because of that. So, um, yeah. I, th I think I have mentioned everything that I have too for those Leo Rising. They're very passionate, um, self-driven. The gods are supporting them. They are one of the most luckiest and fortunate people. And also, they will have no problems problems in terms of their work. There's always some form of stability in them. You will also notice though, just a bit of addition, um, that some Leo Rising will have their midheaven either on Taurus or in Aries. So if that is the case, sometimes those who have the Taurus midheaven can gain weight as they grow up. And some of those who have Aries Rising um, they can retain their weight or even lose more weight than usual because Aries is about fitness. So I would advise that, you know, whenever you look at that, all of these videos, you need to combine what is the rising sign of a person and the midheaven of the person. I have noticed that you need to compare the two things so that you can navigate um, a person's a body or physical appearance as a whole you will notice that those that are in the late sorry taurus as taurus with heaven they can have some form of bulkiness in them thinking that they are in their 20s 30s or even 40s those kinds of things so a few samples that we have here is um for those that are Leo rising, it's Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn has, you know, that luscious of hair that, you know, it's like her signature, part of the, her signature. And all those curves that is showing up in her, despite the fact that she is a Leo rising, it's more of the addition of her, I would say, her Taurus midheaven. Also, Donald Trump. Like I mentioned earlier, with a voice and some form of bulkiness in her, in him, and you know, that roaring of a lion that we all know him to be. Also, we have Celine Dion, and Celine Dion is a very popular singer. He had known her for her voice. I have noticed that there's a whole lot of people a whole lot of celebrity singers who have Leo Rising and they have always been known for their voice. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure that they were not able to retain their fame for up to this date and time. But during the time that they were popular, you know, they have created some form of shock to the whole world because of their voice. We also have Justin Timberlake, remember the curls, the lashes of the hair. Also, Selena Gomez is also another one, quite well known, and with the youthful appearance and the hair. Also, I won't mention that there's a lot of politicians, like even in the past, like jo Joan of Arc and Prince Charles, um, there's also a duchess that are, that was uh, Leo Rising. 
Also, Alistair Crowley is also another one who is Leo rising, and you know this is um, a big sample wherein someone can get in touch with um, the spiritual side of things. And yeah, uh, Leo rising people can get very spiritual as well. Can they can be very psychic in nature? Also, they can be you know creating things that can create massive shift to the entire world for better or worse. That may be. So um yeah this is my uptake on the Leo rising. Tell me are you Leo rising? How is this relating to you? I hope if this gives you insight on someone that you know or to yourself to know yourself a lot more and those kinds of stuff. Um yeah, if you'd like more videos like this and you want to get updated on the next few videos on my ascendant sign series. Or maybe just want to subscribe to my channel to see what more uploads I will have. Then please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on my next video.